I love a lot of what Matt Walsh says. I love a lot of his content. It's funny, like his deadpan is hilarious. But then you saw his Dylan Mulvaney take and that was the one that you kind of commentated on and I couldn't agree with more with your response. It wasn't loving. He was trying his best to hurt this person. Why is the the knee-jerk response, like the parent's not gonna accept them, the parent's gonna be abusive? We assume the worst out of the parent. Why is that the first call? I think that there's this narrative that like people want to kill trans people. Educating uh, children is teaching them how a group of Germans was told definitively to other another group to the point of, um, of mass genocide. And then that's education, is understanding how all of these tiny little drops in a bucket can create something so atrocious. I think the education system, if you look at the history from like the Prussian army and like the Rockefeller and stuff, it's a, it's an obedience model. You see everything that's happening with AI and how fast it's all developing. Imagine history class where you're, where you're able to kind of have AR, like an AR experience or a VR experience and actually talk to Washington and actually like be a, a bystander on the lines of war. Who's going to program it? Because you saw the stuff that's going on with like Google AI and stuff like that. Are they going to program oh. it to where George Washington would be like, hi, I'm George Washington. I am a slave owning terrible person. I would argue that men haven't known what intimacy is for a long time, way beyond the internet and way beyond porn because men were told not to have feelings. Not allowed to have feelings it makes you a